Hey everybody, Carl Schuh from Snorkel.tv here. I'm very excited about today's lesson. We're going to be talking about doing character by character animation. Um, by far, when I look at my Google Analytics, I can always see that letter by letter animation is the most searched term that brings traffic to my site. Um, my previous video that I did on letter by letter animation for that NBC effect is by far my most popular video. So I got to make more videos on character by character animation. And I'm thrilled to do it because we're going to be using split text field, which is hands down the best tool for doing letter by letter animation, line by line animation, or word by word animation. All right, this little animation that you see here, you'll notice that snorkel.tv, when it comes in, it's letter by letter, and then HD flash video tutorials is word by word, and then we have line by line. So one more time, there we go. Split text field is a benefit that you get when you become a member of Club Green Sock. Um, so hopefully this will help you get excited about becoming a member, um, because you're gonna see how much time this tool can save you. Um, split text field allows you to programmatically take a text field, break it apart into individual characters, and then animate those characters, words, or lines, however you choose. Right here I have just a very basic implementation going on, but you can also combine split text field with timeline max and timeline light, and if you check out this paragraph that's running here, um, there's this really cool blur in effect and you can also see since I'm using timeline max that it will play in reverse. So all those characters are glowing and blurring and then shrinking um, and once you set up those animations to run in sequence you get really neat effects. Now to do something like this any other way would really take you hours upon hours and uh, I did this in just a few minutes. So what we're going to do is jump into flash and take a look at how we can implement split text field. So I'm going to minimize this window right here and in Flash I have uh, my file set up. I have some text fields that have instance names already. I have snorkel underscore txt, I have tag underscore txt, and then I have one text field here with multiple lines and each one of these lines will animate one by one. Now to do this the old school way you would have an FLA file that looks like this. Now I just made a little pseudo animation here. Let's uh, minimize my properties panel real quick and you'll see that we have just layers and layers of tweens that we can scroll all the way over to the right and we also have 18 symbols in our library. So that's the old school way. All right, And that's great for some people but not all of us have that kind of time to by hand put all these characters into symbols and animate each one. So let's go back into my file here and let's look at the action script code. So what I have set up already is I'm importing the normal green sock classes. I'm importing all the easing classes. And in addition, we're importing the uh, text package here. All right. And you will get the split text field classes when you do become a club green sock member. So the first line of code here sets up a new split text field instance. And when we construct a new split text field, we pass in the instance name of a text field that's on our stage. And what split text field will do is look inside that text field and literally take every character in that text field and put it inside its own individual sprite. And then we can animate each one of those sprites however we choose. So I have this thing called snorkel underscore STF, which is a new split text field based on the contents of snorkel underscore TXT. And I just want to show you that if I tell snorkel underscore FTF, STF to maybe change its uh, alpha property, what am I? Back in the Stone Age? Let me get rid of that underscore there. We're using AS3 um, to be 0.5 and just test this movie out, take a look what happens. This text field here has an alpha of 0.5, so it's that white turned to a gray. So snorkel underscore STF now refers to that whole sprite that contains all the characters. Now that sprite also has, or I should say that split text field instance also has um, a text fields 
array associated with it, okay? And that keeps track of all the individual characters inside of that text field. So if I say snorkel underscore STF text fields, let's put in an index of zero and say your dot alpha equals 0.2, you'll see that I'm now individually targeting that character. All right, on my stage here, remember, this whole thing is just one text field with the instance name of snorkel underscore txt. And what I've been able to do now is just target that first character there and set its alpha to zero. It's actually pretty nifty. So moving forward, what I want to do is maybe I want to tween that character or all of the characters. Well, I could say something like, you know, let's just do something very basic right now. I'm going to say uh, tween max dot two. And I'm going to say, all right, take that first character in that text field. Let's take one second and let's change your alpha to be uh, zero. All right, so we're just going to also put in a delay of one second, okay? And so now I'm going to show you how I can tween an individual character inside that text field. And you will see now that that S fades out. So I told one character what to do. Well, I want to tell all those characters to do something. And what we're going to do with tween max is instead of just telling one character to do something, we're going to go back to the all from method of tween max, which enables us to tween multiple things using the same parameters. So let me just do a little copy and paste job here. And I'm telling tween max to do an all from and the first thing we pass into the all from method is an array of movie clips. Well, snorkel STF has its text fields property, which is an array. And we already demonstrated that the first item in that array is the S. And now I'm basically saying, tell all of those text fields to take 0.5 seconds to change your rotation X property to tween from negative 90 to zero and also move your alpha from 0 to 1, and the last parameter that's pushed into the all from is the stagger amount that we're going to have. So there's going to be a little bit delay between each character. Right now, let's set that to be 0.5 seconds. And you'll see each character comes on one after the other, including the dot there. Now, I don't know about you, but that's terribly exciting to me. Um, I didn't have to break apart that text field manually. I didn't have to create any new symbols. In fact, there are no symbols in my library at all relating to this animation. We'll play that one more time. And if I want this to happen a little bit quicker, you know, this last property here, parameter I should say, that 0.05, we're going to switch that up. So now it just comes in really quick. So that's how we can do a letter-by-letter -letter animation. Two lines of code, literally. Well. I also want to tween each one of these words, word by word, HD flash video tutorials. So I'm not going to sit here typing and making mistakes in front of you. Let's just copy something out that we can take a look at. And now I'll walk you through this. What I'm going to do is create another split text field instance called tag underscore STF. And we're going to tell it, hey, bust up tag underscore text and break it apart into words, all right? So the second parameter that we pass into the new split text field constructor is going to be how we want it broken apart. In the first one, I didn't specify anything because, the first, because by default, it's implied that you're gonna to wanna to use letters or characters. So we don't have to specify anything for that. But now we're saying each word is going to be broken apart. And again, we're doing a tween max all from, and what we're tweening is every word that's inside of this new split text field instances text fields array. When we're using all from, it expects an array or multiple objects to be tweening. And here we're doing a rotation X of 120. We're moving the Y from a position of 60 pixels lower than where those things start. And again, we're fading in the alpha. And we're putting a little delay on the start of this tween just so that snorkel STF can finish. And each one of these is going to have a very small amount of time of stagger in between each one. 
So let's test this out. And there you go. Again, that's like absolute butter there. Let's go now and talk about a line by line animation. Check this out. Here we have a text field called features underscore txt, and it has multiple lines. I don't want to have to break this apart into individual text fields myself. I'm going to let split text field handle it. So in my code, we're just going to jam in one more thing. And here I'm using just regular old tween maxes with delays just to keep the code simple but it's very easy to use timeline max or timeline light so that you can speed up your um, animations and you can also reverse them and pause them and do all that fun stuff that we've talked about. Oh, and it looks like a little bad paste happened here. Excuse me. Let's go back. And now I'm telling that features, I'm sorry, I'm creating a new split text field called features underscore STF for split text field and we're telling it to split apart features text into lines and each line is just going to do a little slide in from 200 pixels to the right to its resting position on the stage we're going to change the alpha we have a little delay a little ease and it's all stuff you've seen before so now I'm going to test this out and there you go all right and once these split text fields are generated um, and you have your tweens in place, it's very easy to change parameters and tweak things. If I had to go back and maybe change the effect or the timing on the old school timeline method, if somebody said, oh, you know, for each of those letters coming in, have them take more time, well, each one of these little tween spans I would have to manually adjust or use edit multiple frames, which more often than not is a total nightmare. Um, and working with timelines with 18 layers and 18 symbols, you know, it's not fun. But with split text field, we can very easily, with no additional symbols and no additional um, layers on the timeline, build something that's really cool. And if we run this in a browser like Safari, um, you're going to see just how well this runs in the real world. You know, that is absolutely brilliant. All right, I love it. Okay, so we could put that all into a timeline max again and do something really cool like split paragraph. So with this, um, I really just want to excite you guys about the tools that are available to you. Um, and so you don't have to be horrified every time somebody asks you to do a letter by letter animation. Get involved with Club Green Sock. I know people are like, I don't want to pay. Why should I pay? Everything should be free. Listen, the amount of time that you can save by using this tool this thing will easily pay for itself within two hours of your time monkeying around on the timeline or trying to code this yourself. That's all I got to say, folks. Um, I'm going to be using this tool a lot more, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I know you're dying to get your hands on this, so what you can do is this. Jump on over to greensock.com, click on text, and uh, you will find split text field, break apart, blah, 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 blah. And here you have a great description of what can be done there's a great interactive example. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, try that some other way. Here we have words, and of course all the code is provided. And you want to do lines. Look, at it's so beautiful. Let's tween each line out. All right, so more explanation here. If you got your hands on this, always dig into the AS documentation. Um, there's so many goodies that you can learn about all the different tweening classes that are part of GreenSock. So, and when you're ready to commit, you know, just check out um, what it takes to become a Club Green Sock member. All right. And all the benefits are listed here. All right, guys, that's it. I'm not going to twist your arms. You know what you need to do. Later.